From the oceans to the trail. Welcome to Negril, Jamaica, Black City. This is how we do it. Doesn't get any fresh at that. Hey travelers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll discuss the top five things to do when visiting Negril, Jamaica. The first thing is to book your flight to Montego Bay Airport because it's a closer drive to the grill despite being almost two hours away. You can get a taxi or bus from the airport to bring you to the grill, but we chose to rent a car which I'll only recommend to cautious drivers who don't mind driving on the left side of the road. We stayed at Traveler's Beach Resort. The security and the rest of the staff was A+. Our room was by the beautiful garden area. We even had our own patio. The main bar served amazing drinks and was literally a few steps away from Seven Mile Beach. Which brings us to the second thing to do when visiting Negro Jamaica. You simply have to experience the beautiful Seven Mile Beach, which is known for its soft powdery white sand and crystal clear turquoise water. The beach extends approximately 4.3 miles along the western coast of Jamaica. Hotels on this beach have sectioned off areas in the water for their guests. Security and floating partitions help to enforce this. Eating fresh caught lobsters is definitely something for the history books. There's many restaurants on the beach to choose from, but Flag City was strongly recommended. From the old Shasta Trail. Welcome to Negro Jamaica, Black City. This is how we do it. Doesn't get any fresh at like that. The staff here is courteous, and the sound of the ocean mixed with reggae music helped to create a welcoming vibe. You can tell the chef knew what he was doing as he cooked delicious local cuisines. You come to find out that a dash of love was the secret recipe. The fine team will take it up the Slobby Key Island. <laughs> I will take it to the Rick's Cafe. That's all we do it here. Uh -huh. The food was so flavorful that I had to give it an A+. Stop by Flag City when you're in the grill and tell them that your boy Crispy sent you. Margaritaville, also on Seven Mile Beach, is your one stop for colorful drinks that'll give you the true flavor of Jamaica. We were only able to visit during the early morning hours, but it's strongly advised to visit at night if you're looking for a real dancehall club experience. Eating good food while watching live entertainment is what a vacation is all about. You can also find children-friendly water trampolines and slides or even a clown. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this trick. You could find several water activities in the grill, but parasailing tops the list. We went to premium parasailing on Seven Mile Beach to experience this bucket list excursion. The staff here was so friendly and professional 
that we had no problem entrusting our lives to them and their equipment. By the way, the chance of dying during this activity is extremely low, so you have nothing to worry about. From the beach, we boarded a speedboat that connected us to the main boat for the excursion. The level of anxiety from everyone on the boat could be felt from miles away. The staff provided life vests and assisted us with adjusting and securing them correctly. The strength of the wind was monitored and determined how high in the sky people were allowed to go. The strength of the wind also determined whether or not people will go up by themselves or as a couple. By the time it was our turn, the wind died down and the staff started to choose people one at a time. When it was my turn, I faced the music and jumped to the occasion like a real Jamaican boss. This experience was A+. Plus. My fifth recommendation is to visit the iconic Rick's Cafe. Upon entry, you'll be greeted by security who will check your bag to ensure that you're not carrying anything that will break the many rules of the establishment. We enjoyed our meal and the old school reggae music playing throughout the entire restaurant. Cliff divers could be seen from the main eating area on the first floor. Cliff diving is what makes Rick's Cafe unique from all the other restaurants in the grill. This activity is extremely fun to watch and even more fun to do. At least that's what I was told because I can't swim for nothing. We went down to the lower level to view the divers as they jumped into the clear blue sea. The lower level is for jumpers who aren't as experienced or just too scared to jump from the upper level. Thanks for joining me and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about this beautiful island called Jamaica.